What's up, lads? You know what I find really funny? Like, if I look this way, it looks like I actually have quite a full beard. But if I grab my other camera, this one, and I film myself, I look like a 12-year-old boy with pubes on his face. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about five weapons I'm going to show you today that are invaluable, which is a word I checked, for the wipe. They're all going to be somewhat easy to get, somewhat available, um, either through killing scavs or through traders. And we're going to start with my absolute favorite gun of all time. Everyone already knows which one this is, and if you don't, you didn't check my channel a couple of months ago when we started out. It's the Hunter. Can't be any other gun. So we are going to take a look at that weapon. And as you can see, I already have loads of um, little presets. But the ones I'm going to show you today, we're just going to start all, uh, out with the presets. Because all we're going to do is just grab this thing, put on an EKP site, and click assemble. Right? Now, the best option you have here is to just purchase it as a full weapon and then after that assemble it because that's cheaper now the way you want to grab this is not with the five slot you want to link search and you want to get some of those magazines that hold 10 bullets so that are these ones and what i always do is i grab four of them one two three four there we go let's get rid of all that we don't need it right now and what we want to fill it with is not m61 it's m80 why because m80 absolutely destroys everything up to level four now level four instantly done as well level five armor maybe you'll have to shoot three times if we run into the hideout like this is a very easy weapon to show you guys but this is if you have never tried this before then you definitely should Looks like we're out of power. As you guys can see, this video was very, very well planned out. But this is what you're looking at. It's just a hunter with the sight. But this weapon is so incredible. Like, even up close, you just want to drag down your mouse and just blast people. Because... <laughs> I've I've won fights against MP7s like that, and it's not accurate at all, as you can see. But if you hit all these bullets in one spray, then it's enough to kill someone. Like it's not the best weapon, obviously, but it's so 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 cheap, while so effective. You really have to use the hunter. Unfortunately, at this point, the only guy that actually sells a Vepa Hunter is Jaeger. But I'm pretty sure he does sell it at level 2. I was going to say 1. Okay, so Jaeger level 2. So that's not too bad. You can rush that quite quickly if you do your tasks and um, unlock Jaeger. So once you unlock that and get it from Jaeger, that's very good. But the best way to get it is farm a couple of scavs. If you can get a, a scav with a Vepa Hunter and it drops one, please pick it up because it's such a good gun. Next weapon I want to show you guys is the PP-19. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of this weapon. Um, the only thing you really have to do with this is just chug on a sight as well. I've built one and I'm going to show you in the hideout why it's so good. Like obviously it doesn't have the best penetration, especially if you're using ammo like uh, BSD GZH, which is the ammo I do recommend. But it's such a laser. This weapon has no recoil. There is nothing. As you can see, I was even overcorrecting myself. It's ridiculous. And the fact is, people will not be using face shields too much. Plus, even if you if you don't hit them in the face, the rate of fire is great. The accuracy is like non-existent. You easily will be able to shoot either someone's face or maybe someone's legs. Or if they're using a body armor level 3 or 4, 
you, you will still be able to kill them in the body um, when you're using PSTGs at H. So this is definitely a banger. Pick it up, try it out. The way you can get it is you can just easily buy it from Pap... Prap... 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 Prap Whore, level 2. He just sells it for like 20k. It's ridiculous. Next up, we have the new gun, PPSH41. Um, this one is also sold by Prap Whore level 2, which is why I highly recommend you guys try and rush Prap Whore to level 2, because once you unlock these automatic weapons, it's going to be much easier for you to spray some people down, especially if you don't have very crisp aim, then the Hunter can be a little bit hard to handle. Keep in mind, the Hunter is a very, very good gun. It's much better than this PPSH or the PP19. But the fact is, um, it's not as available because it's from Jaeger level 2 and otherwise you'll have to find it. These guns are so available. And honestly, they're pretty good. The PPSH with this PSD GZH armor, don't expect to get through anything for the armor level 4 and over. Um, your best bet is just shooting someone in the legs. But I'll show you in the hideout. That this weapon is actually ridiculous when it comes to the spray. That was 35 rounds. That was already 35 rounds. It's so quick. It's a thousand rounds per sec per minute per second. It has some crazy kick. But the way I would use this, even like straight after the wipe, is just walk walk around like this. Just completely melt some legs. And if you like, one of the tricks in Tarkov, which is actually quite important, is when you see someone, instantly recognizing what kind of gear they're using. Because if I would walk like this, and I start shooting, and I see they have a packer armor on, the first thing I do is this. I just instantly drag that up to the thorax and the head, and shoot them there. Because at that point, you will easily be able to just punch through that pack of armor anyway and it wouldn't be worth it to go for the legs and kill them that way so that is something if anything a little tip i can give you guys in this weapons video because i do realize these weapons might not be the most interesting weapons they're not fully kitted out but it's it's our reality right now that there is going to be a wipe and it's kind of my responsibility to tell you guys what i would use for a wipe and how i would handle it as you can see, this is an absolute spray machine. I love this weapon. Um, and one of the reasons I include this in the list as well is just because there is no other time to use it. Because once people get their level 4 or 5 body armors, you're done. You're already done. Then it's a leg meta gun, but it doesn't have a very good rip ammunition, I don't think. So, unfortunate, but true. Next up, we have one of my favorite guns to use. Although it's not as good as it, as I wish it was. I'm going to build it as a little bit of a troll gun. Just because I like it this way. It's basically just an MP153. Um, and the only difference is that I just kit it a little bit more pimped out. You do want to make sure you have the times 8 You can kit it out a little bit with like a PKO6 or whatever. Some lasers and the monster claw which gives it way less recoil. But the fact is this weapon just... Bangs people out, especially with the AP-20 ammo. That's definitely what I recommend you guys use for this. So we're going to buy these parts. And assemble that straight away. I hate this. Okay, so patch idea for the guys that make this game. Please make it so that your hideout instantly just finds the room. Finds the space for these items. Because every time... <laughs> Every time I buy a weapon and I kit it out, I have to go through this again and again and again. And I do realize that most of that's just my own stupidity. Because if I if I would actually pay attention to that, then it wouldn't happen more than once. But since I am a little bit silly, and um, definitely not the sharpest tool in the shed, this is something that happens to me every single time. Just like changing stuff in presets and then not saving them. Then having to do it again. There we go. We should have it now. It should be saved. Select. How is it not saved? I saved it. See? This is this is ridiculous. Open. Okay. There we go. Here we have it. Select. Buy that. Is it going to go back again? No. It's good. Thank you. 
Thank you, God. As you can see, with the three lasers, like it's so clear where you're going to shoot. And that was a bang on hit, wasn't it? No, that missed. But close range and long range, this weapon is just... It's ridiculous. And with that claw on the front, honestly, like no recoil whatsoever. You can spam these eight shells like there's no tomorrow. I love this gun. It's an absolute beast. The only trick I can give you guys with this weapon, um, something that really helped me, I was really just pressing down like this. Ah! And then I was like, why is my gun not shooting as fast as some other people that use the MP153? If you spam the gun, this is what happens. So basically, you do get a very quick shot, but it's not every time you click, right? So it is semi-automatic, the weapon, but there is a delay. It's not like with, for example, a TX-15. So you have to pace it. That time, every time I clicked, it actually shot. And that way you can also really look for a sweet spot, what your pace would be compared to your aim. Little tip time, you know. This gun is just so much fun to shoot. But we have one last one to go. And here we have the final weapon. This is actually my favorite one um, out of all of these because it is an absolute monster. And it's one of those guns that really drops off further into a wipe. But phew, at the start of the wipe, this is going to be so effective. It's basically just a stock MPX. But all you want to do is get the sight on there, a foregrip, it doesn't really matter, but I always really like the Magpul RVG grip black. And then a silencer, but even the stock MPX flash hider um, is good enough. Any of these would do. I just really like playing with the silencer. Um, but let's be honest here, it's going to be very difficult to find these parts. And so from now on, most of my guides are probably, depending on how bad it gets with the find in raid only items on the flea market, most of it's just going to be like, okay, you want this and this and this, but also you could use this and this and this. Like any site would do here. You could use a PK06 if you find one. Maybe if you find one of these other sites, you can use that too. Uh, for example, if you find this, just chug it on there. Same with the foregrip and the silencer. Um, it doesn't really matter. But this is the way I really like to, to have mine. But I'll show you why I like it so much. This weapon has like no recoil whatsoever. It lagged a little bit. But as you can see, all it really does is it, it gets a little bit closer to the screen, your sight. And you have to adjust for that a little bit. So a little bit of a downward drag. That's all. This is such a good weapon. Um, definitely my favorite SMG for early game when the mp7a2 was still not attainable especially with all those attachments you need for that man if you find this gun just take it with you give it a try in a raid and i swear you're not going to you're not going to regret that thank you guys for watching i really hope you appreciate this video it's very simple weapons i do realize that but that's what we have to work with after the wipe you have to understand that you don't have to find the in raid attachments then you can't sell them so everyone else will probably rush the the traders but if you're one of those people that don't have that much time to play tarkov then you're going to fall behind with that very quickly and you have to make do with what you have available to you and that's where this video comes in handy so thank you guys for watching if you did like the video please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video thank you again i keep saying it but thanks again for the thousand subscribers man that's amazing so thanks i'll see you guys in the next video eddie out